Jason, it's happening. We're gonna learn jujitsu here at the Aces Jujitsu Club featuring Coach Luke, Coach Mikhail, and Coach Ty. Thank you guys so much. All right, now, Coach Mikhail, tell us a little about yourself and your qualifications. I've been wrestling since I was six years old. Uh, travel over the world. My father was a Golden Gloves boxer. Really, really fortunate uh, to train with some awesome units in the military. First Ranger Bat, CTAF, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and after getting out of the military, I uh, was able to work with some awesome contracting outfits. Went on to become a professional fighter. Uh, won around the world and opened up Ace's uh, Jiu Jitsu Club when I fell in love with coaching and helping other people get really awesome. All right, so you buried the lead because out of everything I know you do, the one that impressed me the most is that you, all of these are real world skills because you spent so much time as a bouncer, right? I did, as a bouncer and yeah, and bodyguard. I, I, I finished uh, Punch Out when I was 12, Mike Tyson's yeah. Punch Out, yeah, that was good. You know, it's really misleading because they called it Mike Tyson's Punch Out, but I never saw any Mike Tyson in my game. <laughs> no, you this suck. is the last character. <laughs> there, there you go. Oh, maybe that's why I never saw him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so in the real world, you're gonna encounter people who wanna kick your ass by punching you, and you're gonna wanna punch them. I assume that I don't know how to throw a punch, and I certainly don't know how to dodge one. So what do I need to know about punches? They hurt. Yes, I, I know that much. Besides the fact that they hurt, it's really important to understand that punching inside of a street fight can get you in trouble if the other person knows how to accept that punch. Now. The most common punch inside of a street fight is a haymaker. What does that look like? Haymaker, if I'm here with Coach Ty, and Coach, and I, and I decide to throw a haymaker, <laughs> a lot of times people come from the back and throw that punch over, and then they hit people and, and knock them out. It's a horrible punch, but it's a really common punch. Why, what makes it horrible? It's not really supported as a structure. When you're throwing a proper punch, a straight punch, let's say, right? In this situation, I wanna make sure that I'm throwing it, oh, boom. And, I, and my body is reinforcing the control of this punch, right? I can put some serious leverage behind that. That's not to say that there's not another punch called an overhand right. Boom. That is way more technical than just, I'm upset with you. Uh, or some kind of sucker punch try to set up that way. Right. Right. And that's commonly known as the haymaker. So the haymaker equals bad. Bad form because you telegraph what you're doing. You yes. don't have any force behind it. Uh, uh, show, uh, explain, to, teach us how to throw a good punch. Just, just the basics. So basic. There's a lot of punches. Let's talk about the cross, for instance. I'd say that's one of the more common power punches, and it's really, really effective punch in a lot of ways. So when I'm throwing this punch, I want to make sure that I have a good wide stance. I want to make sure that I use my hips and my knee to rotate and throw the punch. I'm gonna make sure my arm is tight so I don't end up chicken winging, right? And then I'm gonna rotate. Now, notice if Coach Ty takes a step back from me, I'm not leaning on him, right? And this is how a lot of people get in real trouble. They lean forward mid-punch, and if they miss, whoa! And that puts you at a huge vulnerability. Huge vulnerability. You end up falling down, you look silly, they don't wanna fight you anymore, they take pictures, you're a meme, it's horrible. And again, there's lots of different punches. We have a jab, bing, we have the cross, Right? We have, we okay, so, wait, so, so a jab is defined as punching with the same leg that's forward. So if I'm throwing a jab, I'm, I'm throwing it with the, my lead leg. You don't throw a rear jab. Okay. So here I am, my lead leg, boom, there's my jab. A cross is always come from the rear. Yep. Right, so here I am on the rear side, bing, there's my cross. Now, you can throw hooks on either side. These are looping punches, bing, right, looping punches. You can throw overhands. Bing, which is very different again from the many different iterations of the haymaker. So many ways you can mess that up. Okay, so there's always a jab button in the video games and I'm like, why bother with the jab? Yeah. Always do uppercuts, you know, it's, it's yeah. but I assume, uh, what do you get out of performing a jab before a cross? The jab is defined by its purpose and, the, and that purpose would be several fold. One important thing is to measure distance, right? Because if I throw my punch and I'm too far away from him, or inversely, I'm too close to him. And because my punch is what we call caged, mm -hmm. right, it's too close, I'm not able to realize the maximum force that I could by standing at the end of my punch, right? So I wanna be able to measure my distance. Another thing I wanna be able to do is to hide footwork, right? So when I jab, bing, bing. Wow. I can knock him out. Quick yes. little shift. That's correct. So basically, jab gives you an opportunity to take measurements and to set up for a more powerful cross. Absolutely. And it seems yeah, like it's a bit of a distraction too, right? It definitely can be. Uh, I don't know if I was in the military. We used to, when you ran out of rounds in your sidearm, right, you'd throw a cap right inside the guy's eye, you know, and, and, then, and then pull out your knife. Similar concepts, right? I used to use this one quite often, right? Ended up putting the hand in front of his face, 
right? And then line up and come oh, over the top. Oh, wow. Right? That seems yeah. more effective. Yeah. Uh, okay, now, now you guys being uh, trained in jujitsu, jiu and we're gonna learn about the grapples and the chokes and, and, yeah. and non-punching ways, but I assume that part of what you need to know to even get into that stage of the human chess match is how to block a haymaker when it comes at you. I say it's really important to self-defense. I like not getting hit. Oh, that's uh, one that of my works. favorite things. Likewise, likewise. You know, I get guys who come in all the time and they're like, I'd be a great professional fighter. They all sound like that. <laughs> that's <laughs> great, right? <laughs> Like and Tony the Tiger? Like Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Great. <laughs> exactly. So obviously all those moves are when you are answering punches, but when that first haymaker comes at you, when you suddenly realize like, oh, this is going to be a fight, are there blocks? I would just yeah. run away. No, okay. So running away is actually not great because I can sometimes increase the distance. Ah, uh, and I just increase the force on accident. Got it. Right? Which is why it's better to, instead, he throws it, move in. Oh, wow. And then, Boom. And then wizard. That's what this is called. The it's wizard? called a wizard. Wizard, right? Like when you're whizzing on snow. Yeah. Because America. <laughs> yeah, because right? America. So here Good I am. Good justification. It is. My favorite. It's called the it wizard because America. It's called the the America justification. If exactly. used correctly, can be no defense. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. So what is happening on your hands right here? So you just got this looped around. Are you grabbing it with the nope. other hand? Bringing my hand to my chest. Okay. Because America. Oh, got it. Oh. That's why the, your hand on your heart. So now once I'm here inside of this position. I have a lot of awesome opportunities that are available to me, right? One of which. Whoa! That's a that's a thing that you can do. Yep. Okay, now for, forgive me. That flippy thing. Every time I've ever seen it, it's always been in a martial arts movie, and it's been clear that they're working together as a team. Oh, and they are because it's television. Y yes. Right. But in reality, you can the technique still works using. Science. Television Go is on. totally real. Go right, on. Brian? Well, like, it's science. I'm waiting for this. All right, so the concept is centered around leverage, right? So if you notice, if you come yep, yep. real quick and you throw that big haymaker. Yeah. Boom. Okay, yeah. All right, right. right. Uh -huh. So once I'm here, yep. I want you to notice something really interesting. Huh. When I You're bring these die. legs in, yep. whoop. Uh, okay, yeah. All I right. can easily lift you up. Uh, okay. And that didn't require any. In fact, I want you to resist. Okay, all right. Okay. I'm going to try to resist. You ready? Yep, yep. You ready to resist? Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I, yeah, okay, I'm resisting. I'm resisting. I'm resisting. Resist Jeez. harder. <laughs> you didn't resist hard enough, Brian. Okay. All right, tap it out. Tap it out. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> all right, no questions about whether it's real. Uh, <laughs> can, can we learn that whole maneuver, or is that too advanced? No, you can learn the whole maneuver. Oh, 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 oh. let's uh -oh. do this. You're, you're great guys, and because we're great coaches. Yes, absolutely. Here at yeah. Aces Jiu-Jitsu Club in North Austin. First, let's talk about how to throw a poor punch. In this situation, notice that Coach Ty, he comes over the top, he reels back, comes over the top, and I just send my arm in. By, by moving in forward. Look how quickly he went, and look how slowly I went. Now, once it, you ever use those snap bracelets? Yeah. You guys were in the 80s, yeah. right? Yeah. Bam. They're, they're right? totally rigid until they flex just enough and then they just snap forward. Absolutely. Yeah. It's that same concept. So when he throws that punch, bing. Right? In fact, if you do it with enough force, you bring him all the way down. Wow. Right? Now, you do have a bunch of other options to either hit him, knee him, right? Or even do a fun little cattle catcher. Wow. Boom, and then bring him through. It's like a dance. It is. <laughs> yeah. A fighting is like a decision tree. So in this situation, he's gonna throw it, boom. Right, here I am. My wizard comes through to touch my heart. I bring my head down so he can't headbutt me. I grab his wrist, boom, and now I'm in a good spot. Now I wanna load my hips up under his hips is one option, or I can just step over his leg. I'd say that's the easiest one. Boom, one step, two step, and then I turn. Right? Wow. So the split second decision, because oftentimes a haymaker will be a sucker punch at the beginning. Yeah. So as soon as you see that. Whenever you're ready, Coach Ty. Uh, what's that? Keep going. <laughs> Wait, what did no, I do? Keep going. Oh, okay. Keep going. All right. So uh, haymaker. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. So I guess, I guess that's the impulse, is the moment you see this, that's like a fight's on, and you immediately respond by diving in, in on it to cut, to cut it off, right? It's actually a. Uh... You want to look kind of center line. It's not his eyes that are going to tell you what's happening. It's not right. his shoulders even. Right. It's like his center line and hips. Okay. They're going to let you know when he's going to throw a punch first. So here you are with me. You're going to throw this big haymaker. All right. Boom. Okay. All right. I want you to throw it faster and don't let me know oh. when you're going to start. Okay. Go. go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go again. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. It might seem like I'm faster than you. 
It does. But I have a less complex movement to make. You're also and, faster than he is. <laughs> and I just have to be in the way. Yeah, I'm gonna try so, again. So, okay. Ooh! <laughs> right. So, once I'm here. Okay, all right. Boom, and I wrap around. Okay, and, and now you're you're doing America, right? Yeah, America. Okay. Wizard. Right. A wizard, right. touching my heart. Right now I'm in a good spot, in a good position. Yep. Now I'm gonna step, step, yep. Yep. and then turn. Okay. Oh, that seems very doable. And now oh. you got all your weight on me. Absolutely. There's a weight. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. It's about to pull the mountain. That's like, we should do a whole episode just about like tapping. Don't forget to tap. That is a good point. I, I totally did not tap. I just sat there like, this is novel, and yeah, it's, it's getting like, worse. This is really cool. I could totally do this. Oh, I gotta go to the hospital. Yeah. Well, sometimes uh, you think like a position isn't gonna like hurt you, but like we do neon sternum here. Like he'll break your ribs yeah. just from being in position. So you gotta be ready to tap. Yeah. Here, show show me how tapping works. <laughs> so uh, try to surprise him with a haymaker. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen, <laughs> right? <All> right. <laughs> here we are. Yep. All right. I'm just gonna take a bit. Now you're crossing your feet, which means you're gonna fall down. Oh so let's yeah. Let's give you a more supported stance. Okay. And you already feel like the pain the in the numb, arm. Right? Numb. Yeah. 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 So now I'm here. Mm hmm Boom. Step to the other side, and I'm gonna look over my shoulder. <laughs> and now I'm in a good spot. Tap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I hear the 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 Jiminy Cricket voice. <laughs> Don't forget to tap. You guys are about to do the exact same thing I'm excited to share with you. Oh, are you ready? Yes, yes. Now, Coach Ty is going to be throwing a haymaker. Okay. And all you're going to do is, is put your arm out. Whoa, whoa, calm, calm down, third right. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay. Let's bring that back. Got I'm it, got somebody it. said it. Yeah. Really? <laughs> so we're going to put the hand up in a non-threatening way. Got it. In a very inclusive way. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. All right. <laughs> so now a hand goes up, he throws the haymaker. Boom and then immediately wraps around and touches right. your heart. Boy. Now you're gonna turn your shoulder. Whoa, oh, look, that turns him down. Wow. You're gonna bring your five head. <laughs> okay. Boom. Right. Right down to his head. And this is a preemptive strike. Not That's only does right. it help you control him, but it also keeps him from headbutting, right? That's correct. Okay. Now you're gonna grab his wrist. Okay, got it, because he's going to punch. Step forward with this leg. Yep. Nope, this one. Oh, sorry. Now yeah. step forward with the other one on the other side of his leg, and then turn. <laughs> wow. Whoa. That oh. felt awesome. Dude, that, that was great. Felt uh, awesome for one of you. Let's do it again. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, roger that. Non-threatening, inclusive America, grab thing, five head together. Step, Take step. a step, uh, no, no. Yeah, Take a step, no, 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 Yes, that's it. Wow! Wow! Yes. That was awesome, dude. Good job. Good you gotta job, try sir. this. You gotta try this. So Luke is gonna throw. Remember, inclusive. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, and, and then in America. There you go. All America. the way to your chest. Right here. All yep. right, excellent. Bring your head down. Head down. Mm -hmm. Grab his wrist. Wrist, oh, wrist, wrist. wrist. There you go. Yep. Step with the lead this leg first. Now step with the other leg. And lead and turn. <laughs> and you almost fell. Get over here, man. Save yourself. <laughs> hey, nice. There you go. Let's do it again. He throws. Yes. Oops. Lean forward. Look. Yes. And step, step with the other step leg. Again. And there hey, you go. That's it. Wow. There's a lot of pressure, like right here. You can you actually, I can teach you a technique later to break that arm. <laughs> just okay. so, I, I like the fact that there's just these in, individual discrete moves. Oh! oh! Yeah, get it. Oh, five head, five head, five head. Five head. Five head. Five head. That, yeah! Hey! <laughs> oh, that was... With the sucker punch. The head is key, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, no, no, no. Because like, all of it is, like we were talking about. Yeah. Yes. So the interesting thing is you have all these different details and you have this crazy thing called probability, right? Yeah. And each detail, how you perform it inside of the matrix, inside of that system, it increases or decreases your probability. Like, yeah, it'll work without the five head. Right. But against somebody who's larger, you're gonna need the five head to increase your probability or without it, it can decrease your probability if they fight back in this XYZ way. I feel like we have to have a grand championship now. Wait, wait like, it's, oh, yeah. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, you did, you did. I was, I was in the host mode <laughs> and you're like, no, it's a street fight. <laughs> All right, so how about you guys come over here real quick and you guys gonna do the same technique? I'll, I'll, I'll punch you. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm I'm on a different nope. side. No. <laughs> uh, hey, you did, did the I? technique. Okay, good, yeah. good. Okay. Yes, come right, on, right, man, here. follow All right, go for it, go okay. for it, go for it. Uh, dude, uh, wait, no, 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 okay. I'm doing it backwards now. No, no, You're, so here's the deal. If you start, you gotta finish. Okay. All right? Yep. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to get to the end. Okay, got it. Yep. Go, begin. Wait, oh, that, are you right? I so, switched up. You I switched. That's what was happening. I'm like, this feels all wrong. I don't understand. Okay, all right, now I'm ready, I'm ready. Go all ahead, right. go ahead. All right. 
Uh, 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 yeah, I don't think I did that right. I think no, I, you didn't. I, yeah. All right, so so uh, let's let's go let's go back real quick for okay. a second and let's walk yeah. you through it. It seems like you're trying to overcompensate. Yeah. Right. So when he kind of tries to bring this through, yeah. boom. No, you kept trying to touch his heart. Yeah. Instead of touching my heart. Absolutely. So I think we can agree that Brian you? has touched all of our hearts. <laughs> he has. So here we are. Boom. We're yeah. in a good position. Now from and here. I, I should be facing left his or, shoulder yeah. into his head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And so I'm still going to go forward yeah, that's here, correct. right? Step, step. Yeah. So step, step. Like that. Oh. <laughs> that felt good. Yes. Heaven, you break my fall. Uh, let's, okay. do the, let's do all the right. full thing. We all got right. this Ready, now. ready. Uh, uh, t -t -t nope, nope, nope. Look what, you, look what you're doing. Oh, God damn it. I did it. Okay, all right, all right. For reals. Oh, oh yes. Do finish. Get on top. 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 Get on Get on No. <laughs> all right, so. Let's do this one again. Open up your leg, uh -huh. start in a good stance. Okay. Right? He's gonna throw the punch. Yep. You're gonna immediately go to your own heart. Right. And you're gonna continue, you're gonna bam, 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 bam. One, Step. two, three, yeah. Nice. Uh, and does it matter arm or forehead first? No, it doesn't. Okay, Let's great. Go, go with the beat. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> That was sloppy footwork. That was sloppy footwork. Because I should have taken one steps. step around and then stepped yes, down. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, far, no, leg, far, far leg, leg. One, two, three. Oh, like that. Yeah. That's it, yes. Ah. Get on there. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, all right. That looked sexy. I feel like with some practice, I could get that rhythm down. No, you. yes, you look okay. great. Okay, ready? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, uh, ah. I'm good. Do you have context? Good. Yeah, so I do. It's all right. We'll do, we'll do it slow motion just to watch it. Sure. Right? Like, whoa. Oh, and then. And then five, five, five ahead. And I'm like, oh no, I don't like this. Oh, I just have to turn around and get on him. That's, yeah. Yes, I, I yes. forgot that's the that's You the always want to finish the way. Absolutely. Yeah, you got to yeah. finish the job. Yeah. He's not just going to laugh and yeah. high five you. And be like, look what I did. Right. Did somebody get that? I got to send it to Ace. Dude's got a knife <laughs> out. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. Oh, no, no, no that me. also no. works. That was great. That, that was great. Oh, okay. That no, works. I was saying no. I was like the villain falling it wasn't, to my doom. It wasn't the way I taught you to do it, but it also is legitimate. -ish. <laughs> so here's the important thing to understand. In a fight, these things need to be on purpose, guys. Yeah. And if you just leave it to chance, right? Chance, oftentimes, is not a movie. Or yeah. It just takes your favor because you're the lead hero. And the other person's story, they're the hero too. So it's important for you to create a path. And you choose that and you, and you do it. Does that make sense? Yep, yep. Right? And I'd say one of the biggest important things that's difficult for a lot of people making adjustments is making decisions in cadence. Yes. Right? If you've ever played music before. Can we see one more time a proper takedown so that we can model that? Absolutely. Uh, all, right, all right. Absolutely. In this situation, Mr. Luke's going to come help me out. Boom. Here I am. By the way, you can rest here for a second. You don't have to hurry up too much. Right? Once I'm here, right, he's fighting. Whoop. And then I step through. That's good all to right. know that there's a break because, like, thinking six steps gets my gets me too much. But if all I'm thinking of is 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 block America, five head and yes. wrist, and then I have a moment to reset and think, what do we do next? When I was in the military, we used to like. I know this goes against Call of Duty rules. Sure. We used to run in in th like three to second burst to try to get to cover. Camouflage. You can't see me. Cover. It's harder for you to hit me. So it's that same concept. I, in a fight, am rushing to a, my neck, my best next safe place. Right. Right, that's what I'm rushing to. Once I'm in that best next safe place, I stop for a moment. And that's how we create a beat or a cadence. Yeah. Right, my cadence to move. Uh, boom. All right, I'm safe for a second, and then I keep going. And boom. Right, and that's what a lot of people, I think, don't think about. They're so busy creating this aggressive narrative inside of their mind, inside of the fight, that they don't give themselves the opportunity to think. Right. Right? So, Let's take a break in each of these positions to give you the opportunity to think about what you're supposed to do next instead of just like hurrying yourself. Because you want to do it on your time, not his time, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay, perfect. Here I go, boom, right? This is a place where I can stop. Now, I'm here, I'm gonna step, step, boom, right? And I can come down with him, right? All right, good. And there's another place I can stop. Now, if the fight was to continue, I can start striking him here. I can break his arm. All that kind of stuff can happen right there. Got it. But I gotta hurry to the position where I can stop. And then uh, this is, I'm gonna come at you. Ready? 
Face him. Face him. Yes, stop. Now think about your next move. Don't just do it. Yes. I'm going to get you, sucker. Yes. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Oh, my God. Are you, are you alive? Yeah, oh. dude, that was amazing. Oh, that was great. Oh, was good. Dude, I got I, full I frontal see, Murphy. I could see the gears turn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, that was great. And, and the pause was very helpful. Yeah, dude, and you're scary now. Congratulations. Hey. That was Likewise, amazing. Sir. Thank you, McLeod. That sir. was amazing. Dude, Luke, Ty. Yeah, look at Yep. Here. Ah, turkey. 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 Yeah. Uh, Paper covers wrong. Oh, 13 year old. Come on. Oh, dude, what are you going to do? Luke, you know Stay this on. one? A jellyfish. Ah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was like a bigger jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> bi oh, sh**. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Brian's tapping before it even hurts. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've lost, I've lost. <laughs> Stupid.